meaning the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Welcome to Biomutant. Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your first style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Pick a class. Commander, Psy Freak. Saboteur, Sentinel. Saboteur, Sentinel. Saboteur, Cypheri, Commando, Deadeye, Sentinel, Sentinel chosen, sounds good. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you or your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move- That's right. Uh, I'm surprised at the change of heart. I believe in putting yourself aside to help others, but helping the dark side is not that you know. You can't fight who you really are. The blood is obviously running red in our veins. You're trying to keep us in the dark here. But you know it's blue blood in our veins, and what it means. We have responsibilities. You can't fight the truth. Guess left can be right, sometimes.
Stories of death and the bodies left behind, a reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the Tree of Life started to die. Oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment. 
Everything with it. Evolution has its ways. down soon. Look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. this place. No, really, I mean it. The Morks produce bio matter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Toxin all built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. 
Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. The last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. The water. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. <laughs> 
asks if you are tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. <laughs> Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as powerful as a Mooma's love. <laughs> He understands why you came all the way out here, to see them, the Potato People. <laughs> the Potato People, or Nono, are a one- <laughs> You might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of ki. <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass, he says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. <laughs> you found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. <laughs> the Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. <laughs> You'll need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. <laughs> You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. <laughs> <laughs> 